Your brand of osteopathy is um, different from many others um, in, in Ireland. So would you like to explain a little bit about how it's different? Uh, well, um, there, there tends to be different uh, styles of osteopathy, I suppose, in general anyway. Um, I would have trained as a, what we call, more a structural type osteopath, which would be that they would um, stretch and mis manipulate, massage, um, back, a little bit back to the whole putting back in what's out type of uh, understanding that would be in, in uh, normal society. Um, if someone had their back out, they would come to get it back in, etc., etc. So I, I trained originally um, in that style. Um, there are two styles. One would be a cranial, which would be very much working with the tissues within the nervous system. And the other would be visceral uh, with organs. Um, but I trained when, in the structural one. Um, I was going quite well. I was happy enough, um, busy enough. But I would have found, had I three Noras in with the same complaint, that if I treated the three Noras the same way, work just as hard on each one, that um, one might get very better quickly, the other might get better for a while, they come back and the other might get better at all. And I was trying to figure out what's the difference like, because as far as I was concerned, I was um, applying a whole body approach and um, working just as well and as hard on, on each. And, and the response wasn't quite what I would expect. Um, so I was, in the back of my mind, I was searching for a, something else. Um, I thought there had to be another answer. And as it happened, we have to do um, what you call continual professional development. So we have to do many courses to keep up the qualification, etc. And uh, on one of those courses in London, I happened across, I happened to meet um, some fellows from Holland who were studying this other type of osteopathy under a, a, a tutor called Frank de Backer, um, who to be fair is probably a bit of a genius. So his style is he, what he did is he took the, the body from uh, its roots as in embryology looked at mechanically what grew from what to where um, and what influence they would have on what organ would be hanging out of true fascia, hanging out of what bones and joints and the interaction between them and so what influence the digestive system might have on on the body structurally and so on and so forth. So um, I went to Holland to study um, under him for some time. Um, it would have been back and forward over a number of years. Um, so just gives me that approach that we can kind of look, see what's behind the scenes on a lot of um, complaints that patients come in with, because generally they come in to talk to me about um, their muscles, bones, joints, pain. and I use the analogy of a car when talking to patients, I, I talk about um, that the chassis would be the organ, or sorry, apologies, the chassis would be the structure. Um, and that would be our muscles and bones and ligaments. And that is what people tend to come in with. Um, then we have this engine that's attached to the chassis and that there are our organs. Um, we have the computer and then somebody lives in there and drives the machine. And that to me is our well-being. So when, when um, something's up with somebody, all of those are involved. We just have to figure out what's the what and what's the why. And, and I find that with this, this approach, I can further behind the scenes to the, the why I suppose um, and I tend to go hard after why uh, the problem is wrong and when we solve that usually um, the complaint is either resolving itself or much easier to deal with when we come back out to the structure.